This is the Shiba Den SV700 with all the covers removed. This machine was formerly owned by Charles Bensinger, who wrote the book Peterson's Guide to Videotape Recording. He contacted me recently and donated this machine to me, and I've had it on the table here for a while, uh, trying to find some tapes to play on it. Uh, Shibadin tapes are very rare, and the few that I had labeled as Shibadin tapes turned out to be recorded on other machines that were not in the proper format. So uh, after consulting with uh, Charles Bensinger a second time, uh, he sent me some of his original tapes. And uh, the machine does run. It plays just fine. This is uh, a great gift and I thank Charles Bensinger for considering Lab Guy's world when looking for somewhere to uh, send his equipment. somewhere I have a box of parts that goes in this thing and I have to find them here they are nuts bolts screws knobs you name it alrighty so the first thing is back here in this corner I believe is where a spring goes Correct, I believe it is. It goes right there. If I'm not mistaken. Now oh heavy. And I don't know how to get it in there without yeah, getting my hand trapped. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Sony provides some convenient handles on their VTRs. This does not have that. I think the manual shows using packing strap to make handles. I don't know what to do about this because I don't want to break my fingers today. How are we going to do this? Let's try it again. Okay, it's kind of in. There it goes. Alrighty, the long spacer goes back here, and there are four spacers that go around the corners. I get this lined up just right when these go in. I don't think they are yet. That one's not.
Now typically this knob has to come off and it is a Allen wrench. Just like that. Okay. Very good. Okay. Put it in stop and proceed to put all the screws back in. If I can remember where they go. Yes, yes I do. When putting screws back into something like this, always just start them. Don't tighten them down until you put all the screws in. Otherwise you'll bind up the other holes and you won't be able to get the last screw to go. And you'll have to go back and undo all the other ones. Just a tip. Don't over tighten. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see. Okay. Place the knobs. What I do is I turn them fully counterclockwise or to a known position so that I can get the little pointers to line up on the correct marks. This is input selector. This is the uh, video level control for recording. This is the audio level control for recording. And this is the tracking control. Here's the record button the main mode lever. Over here you have a meter select switch for selecting either audio or video on the meter, audio only record button, and the main power button. Let's hook it back up. Okie dokie. There we go. Got the signals plugged in. Plug in the power, and in theory, it's almost ready to go. All I have to do is put put that back on. This is a relief. The machine's been on the bench for several weeks and uh, all opened up. These are always vulnerable when they're like that. Something could get broken or lost. You can lose the nuts and bolts. You know, or if you're not thinking, you have a box like this to catch parts. You work on one project and 
A week later you start on another and start throwing parts from a second project in that box. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to confuse all the nuts and bolts from two different machines. I know. Not fun, not fun at all. And there we go. The machine is uh, completely reassembled. It will need to be tested. <clears throat> Gravity check. Okay. Our same old tape. Tape number three. Put it on. Pull out a length. Go around the tension lever, the tension roller, over the erase head, around the entrance guide, around the face of the scanner, around the exit guide. and onto the take-up reel. There we go. Powering up. Monitor on. Time base corrector hooked up. We have a clogged head. Oh, it cleared. All right, this video can be extremely difficult to recognize what we're looking at. It appears that Mr. Ben Singer's camera was a little bit out of whack. If you'll note right here, you can see the edge of the Viticon tube, so his Horizontal and vertical scan sizes and centering are out of whack. You're seeing classic tracking problems. So we can adjust those out. Ah, good, a clogged head. Try to adjust this so we can see it. So at any rate, there's some video that was recorded in 1970, and they may as well not have bothered as we can barely make out what's going on in the picture. But the machine is working. As you can see, That is the Shibadin SV700.